everyone, welcome back to another Connecting and Creativity. I'm Alex, and this week we will be making keychain lanyards for your keys. This, uh, this tutorial is very, very similar to the bookmarks that we made last week, so the supplies will also be very similar. Again, you will need 5 eighths of an, of an inch of ribbon, um, about the size of your wrist. You will also need a pair of pliers, a pair of scissors, and a keychain ring. Mine came with this fancy little doodad here, but really, you really only need this. All right, let's get started. Okay, so let's begin with our ribbon, and we're going to want enough that your hand fits through, and then a little bit extra. So about this length, or however big your wrist is, and a little bit extra. And then we're going to go ahead and cut it. Perfect, so now we're left with this nice little loop. And what we're going to do is we're going to fold the top, both ends at the same time. You're just going to fold it forward like so. And we want to make sure that they're pretty even with each other. So here's a better one, just like this. And then we're going to take our clasp and put it directly over our fold. And go ahead and take your pliers and clamp down so that we're left with something like this. And you really want to clamp it, especially if you're going to be using this to hold keys. Um, and again, you can use the table as leverage and push on that. Perfect. So we're left with a nice loop with your clasp. And if there's any frizzies or anything, you can go ahead and cut those off. And then we're going to want to take our jump ring, our keychain ring. Mine came with this nice little um, circle, but yours probably doesn't, and that's okay. You really only need this part for the keys. And if you have trouble opening these, um, a good little trick that I've learned is to take a credit card or something similar to that and um, kind of just slide it in between in between this part here and it will open a lot easier. So you want to go in this way. I know that it's like sideways but this ribbon clasp is actually thinner um, going this way than it is trying to go straight up. And there you have it, a nice little chicane lanyard. Hey right, everyone, there you have it, a keychain lanyard perfect for around your wrist or finding your keys in the bottom of your bag. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you again next week for another Connecting Your Creativity. Bye!